Hi guys. Now, whatever dream that you have right now, chase it. Do it like you know you can't fail. If somebody was going to give you the amount of money that you wanted to be compensated for it, and they gave it to you right now in your hand, and you know you couldn't fail, why won't you do it as if that would have happened? And you need to just do it. Don't wait for people to support you. You will get support. Just because your family and friends don't support you or they have criticism towards your dreams, just do it anyway. Because you have to be able to live a fulfilling life for yourself. You only have one life. So if you are spending time procrastinating whether you should do your dream or not do it, that means that you're not as passionate about it. What is passion? Passion to me is to be able to be free, have the freedom to do what you like, please. You wake up with the most enthusiasm, as in you wake up, you don't have to set an alarm, you wake up on your own. You wake up with the positive attitude of, yes, I'm happy I'm awake today, I get to do what I need to do, and my day is full of activities that I love doing. Your job does not seem like work because you love doing it and you're not forced to. You don't have to say, oh, I have to go to work or I have to go somewhere I don't like. You love doing what you do every day. And passion is you are putting intention and you are putting purpose behind what you are doing. Most people are just working their lives away and they have no intention. They have no purpose. They're just doing it enough just to get by. They're doing it enough so that they don't get fired. And it's like you cannot live a half life. So you might as well do something that you love to do. And that's what passionate means to me. Because with passion, you are fulfilling a ignited fire that is burning inside of you that you're obsessed about. And you are always doing your dreams because you are going to get roadblocks. You are going to get delays. You are going to get traffic trying to get to your dream. But your dream is a journey. So you have to keep on facing the fact that you have no choice but to go through all these things that comes your way. You don't know when they're going to come your way. It's like all of a surprise. But you know that as long as you just keep fighting, your dream is right there in front of you. You are closer than you think. You just have to have that idea. Most people don't even think of an idea because they're too busy worrying about other things that it clouds up their mind. You are worrying about what's wrong. You are worrying about your financial status. You are worrying about what people might think about you while you are chasing your dreams. You are worried about whether it should be perfect or not. And you cannot worry about all those things. You have to worry about your plan and you have to execute your plan to get you to point A to point B. You spending all that time procrastinating is keeping you away from your dreams. Now, when you first start off your dreams, you don't have to just jump off the deep end right then and there. You have to gradually build yourself enough so that you can actually swim. Once you start paddling your feet, get your feet wet, then you can then dive into the deep end and now you can swim to any other side. But if you just jump into the deep end, now when something bad happens to you, you then blame yourself because oh, I should have never took this risk. Or, But you have to take a risk. Eventually, you have to sacrifice eventually. But just know, start off small, and small steps will lead you to big ways of you seeing success in your dreams. But having a dream is like the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Because now I have something to look forward to. I get off work. I might not like my job, but it allows me to be able to fund things that I need for my dream because no one is going to invest into my dream because my dream is not in reality yet. My vision is stuck in my brain so therefore no one's going to believe in me unless I have results and how do you get results? You have to get progress and what? how do you get progress? You get progress by working hard. When you work hard and you put all your passion into your project then you start getting positive progress. You will get negative progress, but you look at that and you reflect on how well you did and how well you didn't. 
and you just fix over your mistakes. But people tend to quit at their mistakes and they don't realize that you need mistakes to be able to succeed. So you need to have passion because that passion will drive you and because you're not going to see success automatically. It's not going to happen. But the more that you keep on pushing, the more that you have the drive, the more dedicated you are, you will see a reward for it. And that reward might not be through compensation. It could be through positive impact. You are spreading positive impact and you are helping people that are in need. That means you are serving others. You know, we often work for money, but we don't realize that we are a slave to it when we over obsess over it and that we are always trying to praise it as if it's God. It's not God, you know, but you cannot just think like money is everything. Money is there as a tool to take you from point A to point B. So that's how you need to look at money. It's a tool, not for you to over idolize it, not for you to steal for it, not for you to be greedy. You need to work for it and get it the right way. People tend to lose because they want money so bad that they are putting the good dream behind it and saying, man, I have to chase money. I have to go get it. But if you chase two rabbits at once, you don't catch not one because you'll be running in circles and you'll get dizzy and you'll fall down. So you have to chase your dream. Chasing your dream is necessary. It gives you the breath of fresh air in your life. As in, imagine you go to work and you don't like it to the point where you can't even have a conversation about what happened today. It's always negative and guess what? People around you that's positive, they don't wanna be around that negative, neg negative energy. But if you have a dream and good things are happening in your dream, everybody can now feed into that conversation. They can feed into the aura of that. And now you have something to actually talk about and people actually see that you're working hard. You know, you need to make sure that your hard work is actually being finalized and you need to see that hard work actually grow. People are working jobs that they don't like and they don't see themselves growing, but they don't realize that if you just put that same hard work that you're doing at your job, put it on yourself, you'll be living a better life. You might not get money right away, but you'll live a better life right now. Instead of crying, being depressed, being sad that you're at a place that you don't like for multiple hours of your day, all you have to do is take two hours, three hours out of your day to chase your dreams. And if you don't chase your dreams, you'll be living the same life over and over again, expecting somebody to come save you. Nobody's going to come save you. And if you don't like what you are seeing in your current life, all you got to do is change it. If you don't change, you stay the same. That's your only answer is to change it. So have a dream because dreams will make your life seem more real. If you're just living a fake life, you're living a copy, you're going through the system, you get a job, you either get a trade school or you go get a college degree which you have to pay thousands for and then you owe money so you have to pay the money back and now you're only left with a little bit when you could just chase your dreams sacrifice not having money for a couple of years and in potential you could make millions but nothing is guaranteed when you are chasing your dreams that's the hard part the hard pill that people don't want to swallow they think like oh if I chase my dreams I'm guaranteed to make money. No, you're not guaranteed to make anything with your dream, but it's a sacrifice. You know, you either sacrifice your happiness doing a job you don't like, or you sacrifice money chasing a dream that you do like in order for you to be able to even get a chance to make a lot of money. But that's why you have to have passion because you're not going to look at the money when you are chasing your dreams. But when you work a job, you're always looking at the money because you're looking at how much hard work are you putting in. You're always comparing yourself to other people because you feel as if you should be compensated as the bigger person, but they worked harder than you. But if you work harder on yourself, on your dreams, then you can then make more, you know? Put your talents at a place of life. Put your talents somewhere where you can now be proud of what you are doing. Don't put your work in something that you're not proud of doing. You know, if you have to feel as if you're drained, and you just don't want to leave. This is like a matrix. You are stuck somewhere. You want to escape, but you're too afraid to take the leap of faith because you don't know what's going to happen after you take the leap of faith. And it's like, 
oh, I should have stayed because I need money. You know, you're so focused about the money. But the money is what's keeping you. Money is like a drug. You get paid, you get happy, you buy something you like, you get happy, and then you have to keep on waiting for the next check. You have to keep on waiting for the next check. The ma- That's the matrix. When you keep waiting for a paycheck to save your life, a paycheck is not going to save your life. A dream will. When you escape the matrix, you start chasing your dreams. Your dreams is not going to pay you automatically. You have to delay the gratification, but you have a plan to eventually make money with your dreams. And when you start making money, that money will flow in like water. It will come to you easily. You won't have to work hard for it. You won't have to struggle for it. You won't have to have back pain, back pains and just be miserable. It'll come to you easily because you put in so much work that you don't even realize it. Realize it. You know, you have so much passion in that, that the hard work made you better as a new person. So that's why you need to just chase your dreams with passion and always have a dream to change your life. But thank you for watching this video if you liked it. I know I messed up while talking, but if you liked this video, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and send this to a friend so somebody can hear it. Thank you and have a good one. Let's go. Appreciate you.